AI, taking over everything. Can a human stop it? This is Man versus Copilot. Welcome in, everybody. I'm Greg Treziak. And I'm Amelia Robert. And this is Man vs. Copilot. Today, me and Greg are going against Copilot in Teams. Have you ever had to keep track of a meeting and you didn't know what to do? Yeah, but I use Copilot. I do it the traditional way. What is Copilot, by the way? Copilot is Microsoft's AI companion, and you can utilize it in any Microsoft 365 tool, including Teams. Hmm. Well, I know I have a ton of trouble keeping track of everything I need to do from my meetings, and we're going to put it to the test. Can the AI beat the regular way of doing things? We'll find out. Last week, Greg and I had a meeting within our company to discuss updates to what we are producing for YouTube. I forgot everything. And I wasn't paying attention. We're going to try to figure out how we could figure the action items from that exact meeting. Now, we've got man versus co-pilot, and we're going to judge it on three categories. Number one, accuracy. How accurate did you recall all of the events of the meeting, the action items, what you need to do. We've all been in a meeting like that. There's tons of stuff, always something coming out of it. Second category is speed. I have a feeling I'm gonna lose this one, but we're gonna put speed to the test. How fast can you get this done? But finally, I think I might have an advantage, creativity. I'm pretty creative. We're gonna see what's the most creative response, best outlook, best look of what it is, and we'll get to it. We've tossed a coin backstage, and Amelia, you're Co-pilot queen, here she comes. Here we are in my Microsoft Teams, and you can see our updates to YouTube content bonus process here. We did record this meeting, thankfully, because of that, I can use Copilot. Now, you can see I obviously was not paying attention to the meeting because I already used some Copilot during it that day to kind of resolve some questions that I had at the end. But since we have this recording, I can go to view recap if I want to, and here is our entire video. I don't want to watch this whole video. This is a lot. So I am going to use Copilot up in my right hand corner and I can ask it for a please give me a summary of this meeting. And Copilot is going to generate a response to me. It does use the transcript. That's why it's important while you're in Teams. If you have a meeting, you need to make sure you are recording. If you do not record the meeting, then you are not going to be able to use Copilot to get you what you want. It's going to rely strictly on the transcript from the video. It's also going to rely completely on the chat that was happening during the meeting as well. So Copilot has come up with so many different things here. It's giving me a summary of the introduction and goals, the key changes, so quality improvements, submission requirements, there's a bonus program involved, operational changes, additional points, questions, and clarification that happened throughout the meeting, and then even some resources. In conclusion, Devin wrapped up by reiterating the importance of quality and the new process, encouraging trainers to reach out with any questions. So I have a full summary here where I can read it very quickly and know exactly what happened. I can also ask Copilot for any action items, specific dates that were mentioned, or I can even ask it if anybody maybe told a joke during the meeting. So I can ask, what are some action items? from this meeting. And looks like Copilot has come up with quite a few action items for me to look over so that I am in the loop with all the changes that have been made. I can also ask, did anybody tell any jokes during the meeting? Oh, it looks like Zane told a really good joke. If you see a robbery at an Apple store, what does that make you? An eyewitness. That's Zane. He is always so funny. I am also going to ask Copilot what the tone of this meeting was. I wasn't really paying attention. I'm not sure if we all made a lot of agreements or disagreements or some people maybe weren't okay with these changes. That's something good to know going forward if I ever have to do anything in regards to what we talked about during this meeting. Were there any disagreements? There were no disagreements during this meeting because we all get along pretty well and this was a very good change according to my summary. So looks like I'm all set here. I know all the information I need to know moving forward about this meeting. Let's see if Greg can keep up. 
Well, I am just a human. Can I beat the AI? Whenever you're in a meeting, I know there's gonna be moments it happens to me. You gotta check your phone, you get pulled away, you run to the restroom, you hopefully brew a cup of coffee. So sometimes you're missing stuff. Luckily, I have a recording that I could look at and I could go through, but honestly, if I just relied on the live meeting, I would be absolutely done for. As much as I wanna use Copilot, I'm gonna attempt to go through the recording. I'm gonna watch it one take, see what I get, not gonna pause or anything, and try my best to take some notes. All right, here we go. I'm gonna start from the beginning, and good luck to me. Oh, done. Okay, off to the side here. I did my best to take some notes of the meeting. Let's see. Let me know down below. Did I do a good job? What do you think compared to Copilot? Okay, so I know we've got an upcoming baseball game we were going to go to. So I definitely put that. I know we're going to change the quality. There's trainers should do a video per month. And that's the 15th of the month. And you got a storyboard. Storyboarding is important. Makes a good video. You could work on it during the day. September is a transition month and October's brand new videos coming to you. All right. So the question is, did little old me beat Copilot? Okay, we're back, man versus co-pilot, and I don't know, I'm a little bit worried about this. I think you should be, Greg. Uh, okay, let's take a look at what I wrote. I've got some decent general things, I think. I mean, I know the baseball game's happening. We've got the video that's required to submit. That's good. You could work on it during the workday, and it's in dynamics. Lost me a little bit because it was over a half an hour, as meetings often are. I try to stick to the main points. Bulleted list. As far as action items, I just need to know that my next video is on the 15th. I felt decent, but I kind of peeked at what you put and I don't feel like I, I don't think I'm gonna win this. I'm a little worried. <laughs> I, don't I mean, Copilot did tell me a lot of really specific details about what happened in this meeting, including that we need to look certain places to get ideas. I don't think, Greg, I think you missed that one, that I need to look in dynamics to get ideas before storyboarding. <laughs> Yeah, you were too worried about the baseball game. Okay, go Jumbo Shrimp, okay, <laughs> for real. What else did you get here? Transition, the video idea. Yeah, we also have specifics about filling out submission details. You also got Manuel, who is not in our main headquarters, and he's going to have to come in to work on YouTube. So Yeah, I, I asked a that. question about remote workers, and it got answered. So I knew that the remote workers need to come in. I think it's time for results. I think, uh, it I think it's pretty clear. So number one, accuracy. Without a doubt, I think Copilot wins. Copilot wins when it comes to accuracy. There You're going to no find way. all of those little details that you need to know, and it's not going to miss any. Isn't it the human brain takes seven items at a time in your short term, and then like you either imprint it or you forget it? And I kind of got over seven things, but you got everything. All right, category two, speed. I had to watch a whole 30 minute plus long meeting and it took a lot of time. Whereas co-pilot, I didn't have to rewatch the meeting at all. And I got all the results of everything I needed in less than 10 minutes. As far as the last category, category Three, creativity. I want to say I did pretty good and I put my own, you know, go shrimp thing, but... I also got a joke out of it. Yeah, you know exactly what jokes were told in the meeting. So <laughs> I'm so sorry, but I think we have a clear winner. I don't know. Audience, what do you think? Let us know down below who won. Did man win? Did co-pilot win? Let us know. All right. Really, though, I think you won all three categories. Cue the confetti. I kind of thought I would be beat with this, but I was absolutely mopped. This is... Once again, Copilot <laughs> reigns supreme. If people want to know how to leverage Copilot in Teams and do exactly what you just did and improve their lives, where should they go? There's actually even more that you can do with Copilot in Teams. And you can learn all about it on Pragmaticworks on-demand learning platform. We have a specific video right here led by our very own president, Devin Knight, all about Copilot in Microsoft Teams. That's it for this episode of Man vs. Copilot. Hope you enjoyed. Enjoyed. And the only question is, who won? What's next?